Students in the UK might be forced to live and study in the same small group when university campuses reopen in the autumn. University leaders are setting out proposals for a socially distanced student life, including virtual freshers' weeks. Our education correspondent Dan Johnson has spent the morning at the University of Leicester. There are so many questions about what university life is going to look like and how much students will be able to actually be on campuses like this. This is the library of the University of Leicester. There would normally be 15,000 students on campus. Hundreds would be coming in and out of here every day. This is the sort of place where they've got to work out what the reality of social distancing is. Just imagine people going back and forth through those turnstiles. How's that all going to work? These are questions for the boss here, Nishan, and it's your first day back on campus yourself. It is, Dan. I haven't been to the campus since 23rd of March, and it's great to be back, although it'll be lovely to have the students here as well. Yeah, how are you going to do that? What's the reality going to be like? So we are at the moment planning for um, managing social, uh, social distancing, but also in today launching a new flexible model of learning, which we call Ignite. So we, small classes can be face-to-face, -face, up to about 15, but large classes we will offer that virtually online. And I think this is a good way of managing the social distancing guidelines, but also giving the students an experience of university. What about coming and living on university campuses? Is that actually going to be possible? It is. I think we have to make sure we create kind of social bubbles, a cohort of students who are living together, but also coming to the university for the education. As a result of that, we have revised our accommodation package and we are making it flexible. So instead of an annual contract, which we would normally do, we are offering a really student-friendly package, which is weekly, monthly, or termly. And that, I think, will be very welcomed by the students. And what about the social side of student life? Because Freshers' week, all the nightlife, that's going to be difficult, isn't it? It is difficult, but I think the students understand it because that's what they've been going through for the last few months. So they're also very concerned about the health and well-being of themselves. So they understand for a short period of time they have to maintain the social distancing. So some of that won't be available, but we are providing some of that introductory sessions, the Freshers' Week, virtually, so they get a feel. And we're also asking our senior students in the second and third year to act as pure mentors so they can give them an insight of what, how to transition to university when the time is right. We hear lots of students are considering deferring, giving themselves a bit more time, another year, to see how things play out. Can you understand that? I can understand it, but I think, as I've just said, we are doing everything we can to give them a very high-quality experience. But I also think the country needs the doctors and nurses and engineers, and we can't not produce them in three, four years' time. So I think it is important we do our part to maintain that pipeline of skilled people coming out. So in that sense, I hope a lot of them will continue to come to the university. And we are doing everything we can to give them a very high quality experience and I'm sure they will enjoy that experience. Okay, thank you very much Nishan. There are some big questions, there's lots of detail to be added before the start of the next term. Some big decisions for students to make, possibly life-defining decisions that they're facing at such a difficult time of so much uncertainty.